what are the differences for living in Europe versus in Canada? Hey, it's Josh. And Heath. And Heath's sister, Charlotte. And we are here at the Axel Hotel in Barcelona, basically in the gay district, gay area. Yeah. This is like a gay hotel. Mm -hmm. All the marketing is two men together. Hetero friendly though. Yes, that's why Charlotte's here. Her room we're a little jealous of because there's sort of like a porn shower in it. Yeah, and I'm all by myself. This morning I was like, oh, Heath could be giving me a show when he showers. Yeah, it's just glass. Shower right into the bedroom. So. Yeah. You guys should take my room tonight. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, our room's great because we have two balconies. One especially is very cute with the stained glass. Yeah. But we thought since we're here in our Axel House robes, hanging out, and Charlotte is, of course, from Canada like we are, but she's lived in Europe for the last five years. Yeah. So I wanted to know, you know, a bit of like what, what are the differences for living in Europe versus in Canada, so she lives in Italy. What really stands out to you? It's the culture. Like people are out in Italy all the time. Like they don't, they don't go home after work. They they're out and socializing and having aperitivo. And in the evening, they're not sitting at home in front of the TV. They're usually out doing stuff. They mm. they walk around the squares. If it's the summer, they go to the sea. If it's winter, they go to the cafes. And so it's a more time with each other. Every evening your friends are out doing stuff. Oh. Very little television. They do watch TV, like you, they go home and the TV's always on, but they don't have their favorite TV shows as much. Okay. So, they don't, they yeah. Don't binge Netflix for the entire weekend. No, they don't. Like they watch a bit, but it's not like very much less than we do. The music awful. <laughs> 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 like I, the music is not but no. Mm. I'm sure they all think it's great and know all the words. Yeah, they do. But they love American music and British. Like, they love English music. They just don't know what they're singing along to. Right. And so what's it like living in a city where most people don't speak your native language? Well, it's easier now. I mean, at first, it was very isolating. You feel... Like, it's hard to meet people. And like, one of the big things is when something bad happens in your life, it always happens at home and you're like, nobody really knows what's happening. Mm -hmm. You know, when when a parent gets sick, if with among your friends, everybody's like, oh, well, I heard your mom is sick, blah, 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 when something happens at home. So you're isolated by the language, you, you kind of don't, nobody really knows what's going on. So you can, you're kind of alone with everything uh -huh. a lot of the time, but it gets, once you get to know Italians, especially in everybody, I think in the whole world is like this. You just it, it just you just make friends and yeah. life gets better. Right. <laughs> At first, when you went to a new yeah a new culture, a new country, uh, new laws and rules, and new language that you didn't even speak, like was it terrifying or exciting? Both. I wasn't scared. I guess I have a. a I feel good about people. I, I don't. I think everybody's inherently good. So and people like to help each other. So I, I just kind of knew that's how it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Like I'd get here and I'd talk to people. I'd be nice to people. I'd be social, and they just know what they'd give me advice. And it was hard because of the language problem, but I still made it. Like I, I did it on my own, but I did it with a lot of help from a lot of people in the community and and people telling me where to go and, and some people came with me and, and helped me with the talking with the commercialista which is like an accountant or talking with the lawyer so it wasn't alone yeah but the bureaucracy in italy is world famous it's, it's right. the worst in the world it is it is and they always say no they say no and then you ask again and they'll say well maybe and then you'll ask again and then they'll go ask the boss and then it's usually or they'll just say yeah we'll do it for you uh -huh. so you you kind of have to push in italy because they always say no but eventually they say yes <laughs> okay. so what do you miss about living in north america besides me yeah, besides yeah. <laughs> my family my friends yeah, yeah i miss my family my friends i'd say like i loved hiking and camping and, and outdoor activities but I hardly ever could do it in Canada because I was so broke all the time. Uh, and it's so far, like everything's so far in Canada. And it, where I live, I get on the train, I'm in Rome, or I get on the bus and I'm in Siena. I get in a, a car with my friend, we're up in the mountains, or we're at the sea. Like yeah. everything's so close in Italy, whereas in Canada to do anything, it's a big trip. 
And it's really expensive. Like going to mountains in Canada is so expensive. If I had kids, take my family skiing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can go skiing on the mountain. It's 14 euros uh, <laughs> for wow. a half day. <laughs> like it's so cheap. Huh. And Heath, so you have a sister in Europe and a sister in Australia. And um, sister in Saskatchewan. Yeah. And a brother. <laughs> Practically its own country too. Um, it is, yeah. So how is it having your family all over the world? I mean, it's not the easiest for communicating because of the time changes and whatnot, but uh, I mean, it's nice to have family all over because you can go visit. You don't just say, oh, I've got a friend in so-and-so, I should go visit someday. Right. You know, when it's your family, you actually make that for And I found when I lived in Canada, because it's so enormous, I never saw my family anyway. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, true. I actually saw, think I see my dad more now than I did when I lived in Vancouver, uh, because it's nicer to come here, you know, you're, yeah. you're like, oh, let's go to, you know, we haven't done that in Europe, but going to Vancouver over and over again, every time you have a free time. And it's like, well, they went to like Germany, right? Mm -hmm. and so you saw them there, and now we're in Spain, you saw us here, because yeah. it's so easy. Whereas in Canada, it's like they had to go to Vancouver to see you if you're in Vancouver. Yeah, and yeah. it's a it's an expensive flight, and it's, you know, for the price to fly to London, you fly to Vancouver. Yeah. You know, if you have a time off, you might want to go on a vacation, not set always to where your kids are, I suppose. Right. And but, here you get four to six weeks holidays in lots of countries, so. Yeah. So. You, know, you have time to go travel within the country, within Europe. Yeah, and there's so much to see here. Like, there's so much to see just in Barcelona. Yeah. So we better get dressed and go out there and check some more of it out. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thanks for being here with us, and uh, Heath and I will be back soon with another video from our travels. Bye. Bye.